change my bedroom light to blue. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Mercury smart bulb to work with your Google Home and Google Voice Assistant. So you can, uh, you know, set the mood, maybe impress some somebody, you know. Anyway, let's jump in. One of my most popular videos is the setup of the Mercury smart bulb. I feel like it's popular because it's so ridiculous to get it set up. Uh, for one, just to get the initial bulb to set up, and two, to get it connected to your Google Home and be able, be able to control it with your voice assistant. So anyway, I wanted to update that video with a more maybe in-depth process uh, for people who are having trouble getting it set up. So I have a lot of questions about this and I would, hopefully this will help somebody out. So one of the most common issues I think people are having is connecting to the proper Wi-Fi. Now the bulb, it only works on the two gigahertz Wi-Fi band. So if you're like me, you have a router that supports uh, both 5G and 2G, and you have to be connected, see, to the 2G, which is what I'm using right now, but also, oops, you can see that my Wi-Fi supports both bands. Whatever device you're using to set up the smart bulb has to be connected to 2G to get the setup process to work. Now, this also means that your Google Home, like if you have uh, the Google little the little Google Home display or any any device you want to use to control the bulb, has to be on 2G as well. So now that that's out of the way, uh, let's jump into the setup. Now you're going to want to go to the Play Store and install the Genie app. This is what's going to install the bulb. Okay, so now we have the Genie app installed. Let's open it up and go through the process. Now, if this is your first time using the Genie app, you will have to register with the app. Uh, it's just going to ask for your phone number. You will need to allow permissions. I have already registered, so I'm just going to log in. Uh, my login credentials have already been saved to my Google account, so I'm just going to use that to sign in. Now, once you open the app, you're going to have a plus icon in the top right. You want to hit add, and it's going to ask you what type of device you want to do smart lighting. And you want to give permissions while using the app. And it gives you a warning right, right in the initial setup. Uh, you can see it has a smiley face and a sad face. You cannot use 5 gigahertz. It has to be 2G. Uh, so it's asking for uh, your password to your router. Okay. And after you enter in your password, it says, let's get you connected. Is your bulb flashing? Now, this is another problem that people are having. For some reason, in manual mode, I cannot get this to connect correctly. Uh, so the difference is, easy mode, the bulb will be flashing rapidly, pretty quick. Manual mode, it goes really slow. You can toggle each mode by how quickly you turn on or off the bulb. So to enter manual mode, you turn it off and on with about a second or two in between each toggle. So let's, as an example, three times and wait. All right, so there's your rapid mode. Let's see if I can get it into manual mode.
Okay, so you see there's manual mode. You do not want to be in this mode from my experience. Uh, I'm not sure why this is even an option. Uh, maybe under certain circumstances this works better, but you really want to be in easy mode where it's flashing faster. So let me see if I can get back into easy mode. So I'm just gonna turn it on and off, uh, but faster. Three times. The third time, leave it on. Give it a few seconds. All right, so now we are in rapid mode. Sorry for the, the, the visual of the flashing light. So, uh, it is, it was asking you to select which one it's doing. So we're doing quickly and it's just going to go through the setup right here. So what this is doing now is connecting your bulb to your Wi-Fi. It usually takes about, I don't know, two minutes or so to actually connect. Okay, so the light went solid. That means that the app has connected the bulb to your Wi-Fi and it's just finishing the setup. Okay, so now uh, I've already connected this bulb once before, but uh, it gives you the option to name this bulb. Now this is the name that the Mercury or the Genie app will see. So I've already named it uh, YouTube Demo. I'm gonna hit done. Turn this away a little bit. Okay, so now uh, you can see here, you can control the brightness. So let me just turn that down for the video. Uh, okay, so that is just the setup for the app itself, for the Genie app. So now if you want to be able to, to use your Google Home, we have to do additional steps. All right, so let me pull up Google Home. And you do have to set it up with the Genie app first before you can use it with your Google Home. All right. So let's see if I can. Go through the initial setup again. Uh, I want it to look like a fresh setup. So let me see if I can remove it. Rooms and groups. Let's see if we can edit better in one device. Uh, let's just delete this room. Okay. All right. So hopefully this will work right. All right. So to add a new device, you want to go to, uh, let's see, settings works with Google. So go to go to the settings through your Google Home app, and then at the very bottom, go to works with Google. And then you're gonna see a list of different smart services. So these are just different companies that have uh, smart home products that work with Google. So you're going to scroll down until you find the Genie app where you can search Uh, all right, so it pulls up the genie, and then it's going to say, uh, for me, it's saying reconnect account, but uh, maybe if you have a fresh setup, it'll say just connect account. So I'm just going to hit uh, reconnect account, and I'm going to say agree and link. All right, and now it's going to find my YouTube demo that I had set up from the Genie app. And then I'm going to select it and then hit add to a room. And it's going to let you choose the location. So I have my Google Home location selected. And then it's going to say it is going to move the device to this location. And it's going to ask you to select where the device is, the bedroom. And then you can change the name 
to whatever you want. So I'm just going to leave it as bedroom. And now you can see that it's just showing up here in the Google Home app. Uh, YouTube demo bedroom. So I can just close this out. And now, so I'm using the Pixel 4 XL, which has the squeeze to activate Google Assistant. So I'm just going to use that. Change my bedroom light to blue. Turn the bedroom light to 10%. Turn my bedroom light to 100% red. Okay, so you can see as I toggle those that uh, the light's changing in the background. So anyway, uh, hopefully this helps somebody. Uh, I know, like I said, I get a lot of questions about this. My top tips are definitely set up in easy mode where the light is flashing rapidly. So when you first screw in your bulb and power it on, uh, it might be a solid yellow, or it might default to flashing. Uh, if it's not flashing really fast, you just want to power on and off three times pretty quickly, as you saw in the start. So that'll get you into the rapid mode, the easy pairing, pairing mode. That's the one you want to use and be on your 2G Wi-Fi on whatever you're wanting to use to control the bulb. So again... Uh, if you have the uh, the Nest Hub, the little Google Display, or whatever you're using to that you're wanting to use to control the bulb, it has to be on 2G, and that should get you set up correctly. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I will do my best to help you out. Peace.